Now there's an objection to us from the Sunnis. They say, well, the Quran says that Ibrahim's father was Mushrik. The Quran says Ibrahim's father, Azar, initially Ibrahim promised him that if you follow the right path and you worship God and you distance yourself from the idols, I will do istighfar for you, I will do forgiveness. But then when it became clear to him that he was insisting on worshiping the idols, he condemned him. He condemned him in the sense that he distanced himself from him. And the Quran says that he was a mushrik. So see, we have a verse in the Quran that the father of Ibrahim, now the father of Ibrahim is also the grandfather of who? The Prophet, right? Because the Prophet comes from that lineage. The Prophet is a descendant of Ibrahim. So if the father of Ibrahim according to the Quran was a mushrik, there you have a great great grandfather of the Prophet who was mushrik. So they're objecting to us and say, okay, there's proof from the Quran. So why do you make it seem as if, you know, this is so outrageous when the Quran actually speaks about it? What is the answer to that? The answer to that, Azar, as the Quran mentions him, وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ Azar. The Quran says, when Ibrahim said to his father, Azar, Azar was not the biological father of Ibrahim. He was either his uncle according to most historical traditions or some weak traditions say he was his maternal grandfather. So it wasn't his direct grandfather, his maternal grandfather. It was not his direct grandfather. That's fine. If one of your maternal grandfathers for example is you know um, not a believer, that's not an issue. They don't all of them have to be believers. But your direct fathers and grandfathers have to be believers. So historical accounts tell us that Azar was his uncle. He was his stepfather. The name of the father of Ibrahim was Taruk, not Azar. His name was Taruk. Now because he died when Ibrahim was young, who took care of him? He grew up in the care of his uncle Azar. And that's why the Quran calls him Ab, father, because he took care of him. And in Arabic, the one who takes care of you, like your stepfather or your uncle, we call him father. So he was not his father, he was actually 